Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Andrew and I'm here to share with you today this segment on how do you create a listing on Q10. Now first and foremost, you need to log in to your QSM which is your Q10 selling manager and what you're seeing now is the home page of the QSM. Now your QSM site would be qsm.q10.sg if you are using the Singapore site and if you are using the Malaysia site, it will be QSM dot q10 dot my okay so without further ado let's start talking about how do you create a listing now first and foremost once you are in your qsm put your mouse over listing and pricing and then click on listing and editing and when you click on listing and editing you'll see this four these four um, um, blue colored bars here and what you need to do is click on new item listing and once you click on new item listing, it will take you to this page where you will see all the necessary things you need to include into your listing. Now first and foremost, when you are starting off with your listing of your product, select a main category and two subcategories of the item that you are, you are selling. So for example, like right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select um, men's clothing and subcategory would be tops and shirts second category uh, others okay so that that is how you select a category the key to the category is to find the most appropriate one that suits the product that you are selling now um, the next I like to talk about would be the uh, item title or what we call the headline now notice here that you see the words maximum 200 letters now one thing you gotta take note is that Although they give you 200 characters, only the first 100 character is searchable. And with that, I'm going to take you to my slides. I'm going to talk to you about how do you write a uh, good good um, title or good uh, headline. Now, first and foremost, you are given 200 characters, but remember, first 100 characters are searchable. So make sure all the keywords that you have uh, uh, in your product um, are put into the first 100 characters because they are the ones that are searchable and enter all the necessary keywords in in the headline and do take note of any uh, character variations uh, as well what do I mean by variations means that for example there are some products there are few ways to, to um, describe the product for example a thumb drive would also be called a flash drive, would also be called a pen drive or a memory stick. So do take note that you should enter all the necessary keywords for the product that you are, you are selling. Now next thing to take note of is that every first letter of, uh, of every word should be in caps. For example, whatever you are seeing here right now, in the slides here like the first letter of every word is in caps this is what I'd like you to put into your headline because it makes it easy uh, easily readable so that way it captures the attention of the the viewer now next thing is to e e include things like what's the brand of the item the size of the item the color uh, measurements item conditions and and the different variations that you have and an example of a good headline would be something like this, like um, Sandisk 32 gigabyte SDHC micro SD memory card plus six. And then you see the the other variations like 32 and GB are, are split. And then there's G, there's SD and SDHC um, um, being split between SD and HC. Now, why do you do this? Is because sometimes customers search for products in different manner. For example, if somebody is looking for a uh, DVD of, um, say, Desperate Housewives Season 5. So sometimes some people may type in Season 5 as in S-E-A, S-O-N, and then 5. Some, some people might type in 5 as in F-I-V-E. So remember to put in all the different kinds of variations to the keywords so that you include uh, all customers as well. Okay. So with that, um, um, also, I want to mention is that if you are ever in doubt of what should you sh you should be writing in terms of your headline, best is to look at who are your competitors, especially those top sellers, and look at how they write their listings. And if they write their listings in a manner that that already uh, brings them sales, most of the time they are correct. So it would be best to 
to reference your your competitors or other top sellers if you are in doubt okay so with that i'm going to go back to the the listing itself and then also want to take want you to take note of this thing called short title now short title uh, is uh, are titles that comes up in SMSs or in mobile phones so for example if let's say what you are selling here is a um, iPhone 5 screen pro protector um, matte surface uh, uh, anti glare and um, what else can we put iPhone 5 screen protector matte surface anti glare so what are other things that we can put in uh, in terms of, of headline title we can put in things like um, Singapore seller why do we put Singapore sellers because sometimes it, it just suggests to people that it is a fast fast shipping so you can also add things like fast shipping you can all if let's say you still got space to include other things in your headline you can include things like um, cheap although I don't really like this word but I think it's a good word that customers like because they like to buy things cheap or you can put also things like um, good quality or value for money okay so like for example if you are selling this this iPhone 5 screen protector matte surface anti glare and you're entering all these other keywords just to uh, fill up the space now remember there are still some keywords that you can use for the short title in the short title here most likely it will be something like screen protector okay and then that would be a good enough uh, description for a short title now don't worry if you don't have all the the necessary keywords in your short title because at the end of the day even if somebody is looking at the mobile phone they will be looking at the picture of the product and a lot of times the short title doesn't really matter now another thing i'll mention here is that whatever you see here in um uh this exam this listing video that i don't go through are usually things that are not necessary not necessary for you to to use okay so let's go next to the pictures when you're uploading pictures